Nigel Farage saved Jeremy Corbyn from an even more humiliating defeat at the 2019 general election. New analysis indicates, elections guru John Curtis, along with his colleagues Stephen Fisher and Patrick English, argue Mr. Farage's Brexit party stopped some loyal Labour voters backing Boris Johnson. They say the third party gave voters a different option to voting Conservative while still showing their support for leaving the EU. The polling experts say if Mr Farage had stood down candidates in all constituencies, Mr Johnson may have won a majority of up to 130 seats. Modelling showed that in constituencies without a Brexit party candidate, about 70% of Labour Leave supporters backed the Tories, while 30% stuck by Mr Corbyn. Writing for a chapter in a new book, The British General Election of 2019, the three pollsters say, as a result, the Brexit Party may have cost the Conservatives about 25 of the seats that Labour managed to retain, most of them leave voting seats in the north of England and the Midlands, and thereby enabled Labour to avoid an even heavier loss of seats. At the ballot box in December 2019, 365 Conservative MPs were elected, compared to Labour's 203, it gave Mr Johnson an 80-seat majority in the Commons and was seen as an overwhelming endorsement of his Brexit deal. The election marked Labour's worst defeat in terms of seats since 1935 and forced Mr Corbyn's resignation. Mr Farage repeatedly attempted to force the Conservatives to form an electoral pact ahead of the 2019 ballot. It would have seen the Brexit party not stand in seats where there was an incumbent Conservative candidate but would have given Mr Farage's candidates a free run in Labour heartlands. The Tories refused to agree to any deal and in the end the Brexit party withdrew its seats from Tory-held seats unilaterally. According to the election experts, while the decision to withdraw from Tory seats did not have the same impact on the election result as standing in Labour areas, it may have helped ensure a few high-profile MPs secure election.